Grant Boone, Judy Rankin watching Nellie at the fourth for birdie. Yeah, beautiful stroke. Uh, she gives herself so many birdie opportunities. That would take her to six under par. She plays just down the road in Bradenton, Judy, at the Concession Golf Club. Yeah, similar grasses makes a big difference. Yeah, short par three, and Nellie Corder to tie the lead. Yeah, these greens are still tricky. You've got to be absolutely precise on them. It didn't move there, Karen, did it? Mm -hmm. She thought it was going to move back towards the hole. Karen Stupple's out uh, watching this three ball of Danielle Kang, Nellie Corder, and Yuka Sasso. Um, I think that everything will remain a lot softer throughout the course of the day. There's hardly a breath of wind right now as well, which will help keep things softer. This is a flatter ball flight for Nelly. Little draw, so you might see more release on this one than the Yukas. She's got 162. I think uh, from here, Nelly has the option to maybe land it right by the hole if she wanted to, or land it on the top tier and let it hop back down there. Kind of like that. Kind of like that. Okay, not far from where Jin Young Ko was. Inside the top 80 right now with her performance, that is a massive bonus. Nelly to tie the lead at 10. Back up the hill here, slow. Now Nelly. Yeah, pretty. This a nice little small draw, just sort of left center of the fairway. Looks like she's got a captain's armband on doesn't it, with that uh, yellow <laughs> ring, but I think it's part of her shirt. This is high, it's on a good line if it gets up a smidge. Yeah, able to get it to stop, which we haven't seen too many players do today at the 11th. It's not one of those sort of two hard parts, gonna move a bit left. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if anything would balance that out. Judy, it has to be expensive. I think Nelly can afford pretty much anything at this point. This one drawing towards the hole. Yeah. Nice shot. So you have the big the fall off to the left, and uh, you have the big valley that runs the center of this green to the right. It can only be a matter of time, surely. How about here? Oh, oh my goodness. What a good putt. Well, half of the ball ran over the hole. To your point, Judy, about whether or not the LPG should have lowered the minimum number of rounds to win the Bear Trophy, only about 25% of the LPGA Tour will even get to 70 rounds this year. Talk about the change of wind direction on this hole. It's off the left, maybe with a switch of her help. Big drive high. Driver from that even way Stand past. still, please, guys. Won't have much left in there. Yeah, that's one of the longest we've seen today. But it's it's such a huge break, and then you put the flag in a, in a fairly accessible location. This from 88 yards. Yeah, not many players can spin it like that out here. Is it the time? Oh, oh. she's going to get a bit wow. frustrated. It's just time and time and time again. She's had a chance to tie the lead, and they've slipped by. Nelly's one of those players that grew up on uh, Florida grass. She lives about, a, well, grew up about an hour and 15 minutes away. Down in the Bradenton area. But Nelly still has plenty of distance. She was one of two players yesterday that had a driving average of over 300 yards. With soft fairways, by the way. Yeah. Exactly. That's gorgeous. So two advantages at the par five. She hits it a long way, and if she should have a fairly long distance into the green, which she probably won't. I like your chances of finally getting one to drop. All right, Nelly Corda to tie the lead. There we go. Bogey free today, three birdies for Nelly. Completely across on Daniel's shot. This one is more downwind for Nelly. Take it right over that bunker. This is what she's doing, Judy. Yeah, just tough to get it to stop. Yeah. 
15. And now Nelly to get it to nine under. She would have learned a little bit. Just hanging out there to the left. I'll tell you what, the ball rolled really nicely, though. She and Yuka have uh, pretty much been right up there with each other, Karen, for most of the day. Yeah, pr pretty similar. This one, pretty perfect. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of the time with Nelly with the driving distance, she could be considered one of the longest, but she doesn't often have to take driver. The ball's on a slight downslope, so she's playing this a little bit off her back foot. Trying to keep the trajectory down a little bit. This one's on a good line. Ooh. Oh, yes, it is. Nearly perfect. And Nelly Corda will have that to take the lead. It, they're already on a big stage. They're already seen as superstars. And whereas somebody coming from a, a smaller yeah. golfing community like the Philippines, um, it's not quite the same. People appreciate it. People watching on TV appreciate the fast nature of their play. And that's pummeled. Hitting it to a foot, you know, to the pin also speeds up play. <laughs> that's true. But I, I think fans on site also. This is that 54 degree wedge again, so this is just going to be a nice controlled swing here into the wind. It's a lower trajectory. Yeah, just got the numbers dialed in. She's a bit unlucky that spun away. Nelly up the hill. Ooh, that one just kind of went straight left on there. Winning score last year was 14 under par. Nelly was uh, nursing a bit of an injury and was watching. She was outside of the ropes watching her sister. Kind of trying to stay incognito, but uh, we spotted her. This one back into the wind. Different hole to yesterday where it played a little downwind. Skirts the bunker, but it's fine now. That's the difference in being able to get to this green and not. This is drawing left. Good use of bank there, though. Uh -huh. Take it to the bank. She's got that to get to 10 under. Oh, this one is downhill, so speed is an issue here. She has had a lot of one foot comebackers. It'll be 30 putts for Nelly. In a round of 66. 